How urgent was the situation? Um, it was life or death. Uh, right now, um, the pandemic wouldn't end unless we had a vaccine. In May, we finally get a glimpse of good news. Pfizer announces they're working on a vaccine. And although the rollout of the first vaccines began earlier this month, we will likely have to wait well into 2021 before the world is protected from coronavirus. One year ago, the process you are watching didn't even exist. I'm Pat McAvoy, Senior Director of Engineering and Strategic Projects for Pfizer Kalamazoo. Globally, we knew there was a pandemic and it would require, you know, tens if not hundreds of millions of doses. Kalamazoo was one of two sites that was selected to uh, be the candidate to produce the vaccine. In early assessments, we knew that we would need to have formulation areas and capability as well as aseptic, fill, finish, inspection, and cryogenic packaging. So it was a very complex project to produce the, the vaccine. We had to build uh, a facility in parallel with operating a facility. And so we really didn't have the luxury of doing a stick-built facility um, because we were using the space where the pods were ultimately going to go as a staging area. Pfizer had an ongoing relationship in history with GECON in a number of areas, and so it was a likely candidate for our consideration because um, we had a, a relationship, we had prior knowledge of the technologies, so we had to make a decision early on, and we had to go with a company that we had high confidence uh, in designing, building, and ultimately implementing, because failure was not an option. So my name is Dennis Powers and I am the Vice President of Business Development for GCON. So once Pfizer had made that decision to move forward with the GCON pods, it was uh, full steam ahead. We had our team already assembled. Uh, we started integrating with the Pfizer project team right away, uh, initiated design efforts all while the contracts were being worked out. So there was no time to wait for you know, the order to come in. We, we started immediately and you know, as that project progressed, the, the timeline and the need to, to move very quickly just became more and more apparent. My name is Mike Jonitz. I'm the president and CEO of GCON Manufacturing. We started preparing already superstructure up front, even when the design wasn't fully finished. When we build off-site, we have very much control of our resources, of our environment, of where we build, what kind of supply items required to go into the build process. So we bring the supplies just in time towards the process and we can flex with our resources so we can do shift work also. It was extremely intense in regard to the build of these infrastructures because what happened is what we typically see of say 22 week production timeline it was abbreviated to eight we had to run much faster than we usually do so we prepared our resources we prepared our supply chain that we need to be much faster and much more diligent Where GCON brought value to this particular project is our history of, of executing fast-track critical projects for our clients, our experience designing and building pods in our factory off-site, which allows the facility work to take place in parallel. And then now the GCON pods are coming in and being assembled, qualified, and started up while we're operating. So, so that that's, was a major part of the strategy. That was one of the, one of the tricks that had to be done. Um, and uh, you know, again, in my life, I'll never work on a project um, that has the global scope and impact as this one.
The team, including contractors, uh, equipment suppliers, were somewhere around uh, 350 to 400 people. Now, broader than that, the project itself, we had to hire and train over 900 people to produce this product. It's a very large initiative. We had to add additional inspection lines, packaging lines, build a cryogenic plant, large freezer farms, and two uh, new state-of-the-art formulation suites. Uh, which those new suites, which enabled us to 4X our capacity, are the subject of the GCON pods. It was more than a partnership, more than just a collaboration. This was, you know, we're all in this together. Um, it doesn't matter what your role in the project is. Everyone, every task, everything is absolutely critical. When you look at Pfizer and when you look at the Pfizer CEO, the vision of that team and the mission of that team by saying we need to create this vaccine as fast as possible, the pressures which Pfizer had to create this vaccine uh, is tremendous. I convinced myself that failure is not an option and then I tried to convince everyone else that we won't fail because we don't have this option. That will, be, uh, that will mean very difficult things for the world. I can only thank the Pfizer organization that they took this mission and created this vaccine because it's absolutely important on a global scale. And being part of that is certainly uh, fulfills us with a lot of pride. So this is our new formulation suite. Here is part of how they scale up so fast. These prefab formulation suites, they're all built in Texas before being brought here. If we built it wall by wall on site, it would have taken us a year. By doing it modularly, we could cut that in half. If you want to get on one side, I'll get on the other. It's just a proud moment for GCON to see our product being pushed by Sanjay Gupta and, and uh, the Pfizer folks. It's just an amazing feeling when you see you know, your product being on the television. When our team realizes that we are saving lives with our product, it gives them pride. And they work even harder when they see that they, they accomplish something with our product. I think when you look back on key times and key things that have happened, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine was one of those critical achievements that gave us all hope, a hope to an end. And uh, as a part of that, the facilities um, that are necessary uh, to produce that, that product are, are essential. And uh, uh, so without those key facilities coming in and meeting the strict quality and safety standards, we, we wouldn't be making the vaccines that we are today. Everybody who's been involved within the project has probably been challenged in ways that they've never been before just due to the nature of the, and, and the urgency and criticality of the project. I think thank you is, <laughs> thank you for your dedication, your commitment, and working together as a team through all the struggles, through all the challenges, never faltering, always seeing the, the, the bigger picture and understanding how important it was to, to get this project over the goal line.